It was a parent-teacher conference day on a Monday. Little Cheems did not have any classes except for his forced socialization class. And what were they talking about in there? Oh boy. It was it was quite the story. Um we started off talking about random stuff. I don't even remember what we were talking about starting this, but that socialization class that I'm in is awful, man. And to uh, amplify this video experience, I had some classmates. I don't know if they ever, they probably never have met each other. They just they came across each other in that chat. Uh, but this one dude in the chat was he was bawling hard in the paint trying to get some girls' phone numbers and socials. <laughs> this dude was flirting during the video with these chicks so bad. The teacher I uh, told him that you cannot give your phone numbers in the chat. <laughs> this dude got a couple girls Instagram usernames though so power to that guy of my class good job man <laughs> okay so the video started playing and you see the I don't know the producer font bullshit on the beginning now, my teacher thought this <laughs> this name was so cool. She had to stop the video, pause it, stop the class, and talk about it. Unique. That's pretty cool. That's kind of it's kind of a cool pun on unique. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> so glad we stopped for that little bit. Now to give you a little backstory, it's called different because the woman is death and the man is some sort of handicapped, he needs a wheelchair to get around. Everyone has heard stories of friendships, but no one has heard a story quite like this one. The stories of friendship, but no one has ever heard one quite like this one. And then you hear the sirens play. What the hell happened? <laughs> Are they about to... Is someone about to die here? No, it's just something in the background, guys. Emily and Sam didn't know each other that well, but Emily made sure to express her feelings. Emily made sure to express her feelings just by running by him. Not stopping, waving, doing anything. Just running by him, and then you hear this fucking... I don't even know what kind of music this is, but it would suggest that these two aren't just friends. So why... The music does not fit two friends, man. Why would they choose this music for right here? I don't know. So, she puts a piece of paper down his shirt, and this dude's only reaction is to start reaching up into his collar. He doesn't even turn around, look back, or anything. <laughs> I mean, okay.
she does it again, and still he doesn't turn around, look, or anything. He just reaches back in there. The, like I could be wrong. Maybe this dude is so paralyzed he can't turn around. But if he is paralyzed, I don't really know what the whole thing is there. But it seems to be he can't move his neck either. Okay, so now she purposely <laughs> she purposely falls off of her skateboard and you know, she's patting herself off hoping to get this man's this fellow, my man Sam, Sam's attention, but he he's just, he's asking if she needs help cuz he obviously can't get up. She is confused as to why she won't pick him up. Or, oh my god, what am I saying? I don't know, let's get back to it. Yo, are you okay? Do you need any help? Is there someone I could call? How badly are you hurt? Suddenly, his interrogations go silent. It's like he's a mime. It's a great mime act, but actually he's uh he's talking, but this is from the woman's perspective, so they get rid of the sound for you, so you know what it's like to be her. It's real, it's real smooth, unique productions. I gotta give you that. That was that was a pretty good editing play right there. You're bored. Emily was embarrassed, but she was mostly disappointed that she saw Sam's true colors since he didn't help her up. <laughs> she looks so fucking mad that he didn't help her up. <laughs> who the fuck does that? Who, who falls over and runs away angry that someone didn't help them? Deaf or not? Like, who does that? but there was much more than she thought. shit he can't he can't get up to fucking help me uh oh i've made a very big fucking mistake now haven't i Now Sam slides Emily a note asking if she's okay, but like how did he, I mean I guess that's an okay way about going about this, but he later uses sign language, but how does he even know that they're deaf, like there's no communication 
besides like the sign language and the notes and they from what we see there's no lore between the beginning and right there how do they know how does sam know that she's deaf obviously emily knows that sam is handicapped because she made a big fucking uh uh-oh there with that with that last stunt but Sam knew that they were different, but that didn't matter. They only cared about what was on the inside, not the outside. They knew they were different. I find that a little hard to believe, Unique Productions. Someone pulled a big stunt and embarrassed herself. Uh, but in all honesty, uh, it is a pretty good uh, premises. I don't know how to put it. It is a good story in a way. I don't think the way they put it or you know made the video and stuff was the best. But overall, <laughs> like it, you get the point. You get what it is. You're supposed to like people for the inside and who they really are not for the outside <laughs> but i refuse to believe those two are just two, i i can't believe they're just friends that's too fucking weird the music and the way they're fucking smiling at each other there's something up between sam and emily and i want to fucking know unique they are not just friends but yeah uh that's all I've got.